as a Jakarta EE developer, are you going to believe me if I tell you you can get your Jakarta EE web profile application deployed to the cloud in three simple steps without having to manually ship them as containers, manage Kubernetes clusters and all of those uh, heavy infrastructure? You don't? Okay, so let's see. This is my application. It's a very boring Jakarta EE application. Let's see how I can get my application binary deployed to the cloud in three simple steps. Get the clock running. In under three minutes, we should have our application deployed. So let's go. The first step is to go to pyra.cloud and then create an account. Once you create an account, you pick a subscription. There are a number of subscriptions here you can pick. Once you pick a subscription that you need, that meets your needs, then in your application console, you're going to have a namespace. A namespace is a collection of, it's a container that groups together applications that together share a common security uh, boundary and context. So we, we have our namespace, we call this start dev. You can always create a new namespace. Let's upload our application binary. This is our third step, remember? Let me just drag and drop my binary here. And then, as you can see, the binary is here. You can choose to deploy immediately or you can choose to upload the binary and then go and do further co configurations, uh, customize your application through configurations. So let me just give this a name here. It is good to give it a name instead of leaving the platform to infer the application name from the binary. So let's wait. Now, this upload here depends upon the speed of your internet and the size of your binary. So my application, my binary is uploaded to Pyra Cloud. Let me go in here and configure the application. I want to change the context path. So I'll call this JEE-ChatGPT. And then I also want to pick the runtime size, one virtual CPU. I'll click Save. Done. So now I have uploaded my binary, I am ready to deploy. Let me click deploy. Let's wait. There are some server logs printing here. The application is being deployed and very soon it's going to be available on the cloud. Okay, so my application is deployed. As you can see, it says running. And it's running on one by one virtual CPU. It is deployed at this time. And you can see here, now it says the status is deployed. And with that deployed application, I can still change configurations and all that. Now, let's access the application in the cloud. Okay, so my application is deployed to the cloud. And this is a Jakarta EE application. Here, this is the code for everything. It's a Jakarta EE Vagrant application that has a UI for talking to OpenAI's chat GPT. So let's go to Trip. What this application does is that it takes a city name. So let me enter Accra and then a budget amount. Let me say 2,500. And then we go to chat GPT for ideas, itinerary suggestions. So let's click Go. So here we have our suggestion here. This is from ChatGPT and this is running on the application we just deployed. We can even print our suggestions here as PDF. Here, save this as PDF and then we can save this. So we have our application running. Let's come to the image generator. Let's enter some prompt here. Now, this application, again, this is the code, is talking to OpenAI's GPT API. And this is deployed to Pyra Cloud. As you can see, we just had a simple step. We signed up, picked a subscription, and then uploaded a binary to our namespace, and it's running in the cloud. So let me enter some prompt here. Let's say two young boys playing at the beach generate and this again is going to open ai's api to generate an image for us 
Nice. So you can see we have some image from OpenAI's API. This API is what powers OpenAI's DALI image generation service. So our Jakarta E application is deployed to ParaCloud and we did this so effortlessly. I know you don't believe me. So go to para.cloud and check it out. Sign up today and take it for a spin and see the magic of getting your Jakarta EE application in the cloud in under three minutes.